Hey folks, Nass here with a little money-making guide for you in Medieval Dynasty. So I'm gonna show you on day one. So if you're starting a brand new game, even if you're not, you can come back and use the same method. Show you on day one how you can make you a nice chunk of change or coins in the Medieval Dynasty age. And then you can also get um, an additional 30 kilograms weight limit added to your inventory and then a little bonus material towards the end of the video. So make sure you watch the whole thing through. So we're going to start off with a brand new game. We're going to do this in the Oxbow. We're going to go solo. You can do it in co-op if you want. I'm doing it in solo. We're going we're gonna to click Customize Game. What I am going to change is fast crafting. That's the only thing you have to change for this. Now, if you wanted to, you could eliminate the need for the extra 30 kilograms weight limit and you can go with uh, unlimited carry weight if you wanted to. I typically don't play my games with unlimited carry weight on, so I'm going to leave it turned off. But you play your game the way it makes you happy and the way you're comfortable playing. Fast building, that's another good one to have. But for this tutorial, fast crafting is all we need. And you can change all of these settings later and click start game. Alrighty, so we're in a brand new game. We've created our character. I just chose the base character just for this guide. Now, I was, I highly suggest that you just go through real quick and do the beginning quest, the a clean slate waking up from a nightmare. Go ahead and complete that real quick, and I will see you once that's done. Alrighty, so now that you've gotten the beginning quest done, and now you have Stay Vigilant uh, quest available, that is as far as we really need to go for this guide. So then, whoop, don't go in the building, you want to go back here. Once you open this chest, you actually have a bunch of items available to you. These are not stealing. So you don't have to worry about that at all. Now, we only have about 10 kilograms... 13 kilograms uh, available uh, to carry stuff before we be start becoming encumbered. But there are a few things that you can actually take out of here that will help you in the very beginning. One being the temperature cure, potion of temperature. You can take the stone axe, all three of them. You can take the stone spears if you want to, or you can, can keep them. I'm going to take them. Uh, we're going to take the wooden hammers. We are also going to take the copper shovel. We'll take one stone knife or copper knife. Just want one. There we go. We're going to take the bow and go ahead and take all 10 copper arrows. Now we're a little bit encumbered. So we're going to waddle our butt over here and we're going to find a vendor and we're going to sell some things. This guy plucking the duck right here is probably a good thing. Uh, let's see here. Show me your wares. Now, what we're going to do, <clears throat> you can sell whatever you want, but I highly recommend keeping the bow and the arrow. So I'm going to sell the apples. I'm going to sell the copper knife. The shovel, I'm going to sell all of the feathers. I'm going to go ahead and we'll actually turn those logs into spears. I should have done that before I talked to him. We're going to sell the roasted meat. Sell the stone knives, or excuse me, stone axes. We're also going to sell the stone knife. We're going to sell the stone spears. Let's get out of his inventory real quick. We're going to craft anything that we can. So we're going to craft two more wooden spears and one more stone knife. How do you do? Now we're going to talk to him again and we're going to sell those two items. So we're going to go back down here. I'm actually going to get rid of the sticks. I'm going to get rid of the stone. I'm going to get rid of the stone knife. I'm going to sell the straw. We don't need any of that stuff. I'm going to sell the two wooden hammers. 
I'm going to sell all of the wooden spears. There we go. Now, this is all I should be left with. And I've got 389.8 coins. My worst never disappoint. Have a good day. Make sure that you equip the bow. Uh, you can put that in whatever number you want. I like mine in three. And we're going to put the copper arrows in the quiver by just highlighting them, hitting F. They go in your quiver. Now, what we want to do is go over to this gal here. She's going to be in the blue shirt. Have you been? She's the heavy smoker lady. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your wares. Now, we've got 389 coin to play with here. Let's see what we can get. Not quite enough for the large pouch. We're just shy on the large pouch. And the simple large backpack, we're about uh, uh, 90 bucks away from that. Is in it, was nice seeing you. it was nice seeing you. So, what we are going to do is we're going to go back down here and we're going to grab one more item. That way, what can we grab? Uh, let's grab one copper hammer. You know what? I'm going to sell this copper knife because that'll be fine. I can make a knife on the go with stone and, and sticks and be just fine. We'll come right back to this gal here and we're going to sell that copper knife. We don't need it right now. And we're going to get this large pouch. Boom. One large pouch. I've got everything. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye. Now, we're going to take that and we're going to go find the large pouch in our inventory. We're going to hit F to equip it. You'll see it's got a red circle. It is equipped. And we've increased our weight from 35 to 45 now. Now, we got 64 coin left, which is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to start buying stuff. Now, you start out with 50 coins, and you can do this before you ever sell any of the items. But we have a little extra weight that we can work with, so we're going to talk to this gentleman here. We're going to go down here, and we're going to buy all of his roach. He's got 25 roach. We can buy 14. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a process for just a minute. But you can take all of that roach, come back inside the building. Campfire is going. We are going to go ahead and cook up that roasted meat. Or excuse me, turn that roach into roasted fish meat. If this campfire is not going, make sure you've got a torch on you. That way you can light it. Otherwise, you're going to have to go out. You're going to have to make a torch. All right. We turned all of that into roasted fish meat now. Is a silent killer. We're going to go How back to talk kidding. to this guy. Show me your wares. We're going to literally sell him the 14 roasted fish meat. We're going to get 133 coins back. And then we're going to turn right back around and we're going to buy the rest of that roach. So let's go. And we got a little bit of weight and money left. So let's go up here to the pike. Now we're going to buy as many pike as we can. Three, that's all we can buy. That's need. fine. Have a nice day. This process grows as you do this more. So we're going to continue making more money and more money and more money. So we're going to go through and we're going to finish roasting up all of this fish meat and sell it to him. You're going to go back and you're going to also buy the pike and the perch until he has no more of those fish. Roach, pike, perch. That's what you're going to be buying and turning into roasted fish meat. So now, as you can see, one pike is going to get us seven roasted fish meat, which those roasted fish meat sell for, you know, a pretty good coin a piece. So let me go through and buy all of his roach and turn it into roasted fish meat and sell it back to the vendors. And I'll see you when I'm done. Alrighty, so I have gone through. My worst never disappoint. Have a good day. Took all of his coin, <laughs> took all of his meat, and I am selling the last of the roasted fish meat, which gets us up to fourteen hundred and eighty-three coins. Goodbye. After buying the large pouch, now we're gonna go back over to this gal here in the blue shirt, Miss Heavy Smoker. We're gonna go and buy. The large pouch, she's not large pouch, the simple large backpack. There it is. 480 coins for that. We're going to buy one. We're going to get out of her inventory. We're going to go into ours. We're going to find the large simple backpack and hit F. 
Now we've gone from 35 kilograms starting the brand new game to 45 kilograms with a large pouch. Now we're up to 65 kilograms of weight limit with the simple large backpack and we're still on day one. Now, make sure that you've got your bow equipped. We're gonna head out the north gate, and we're gonna head to a location just up the road here. Matter of fact, you can see it straight ahead. We're gonna go to those buildings. Now, you wanna keep your bow handy. You've got 10 arrows handy, because you might potentially run into enemies, whether it's bandits or you know, animals or whatever. But we're going to head over there. We're going to make sure it's clear, and I'll see you in just a second. He's <laughs> just going to stand there. <laughs> okay, well, if you're going to stand there, I am going to take my arrow out of your eye and out of your chin. Is there anybody else? Oh yeah, there we are. Let me let me get over here. Okay, found the last guy, I think. Thank you, sir. You just stand there. I'll be back. Alrighty, once you got your little area cleared out, make sure you go and pick up all of the items. So like there's some little eggs right here. We got eggs and feathers in the nest. We've got copper axe. There's a chest up here. Grab the coin out of it, the flower. Now, in a lot of cases, you can come over here and you won't have the bandits, but it's always good to have the bow and arrow in case you do run into the bandits. That way you have a way to defend yourself. Now, I am not going to collect the items from the bandits because they're not always going to be here. However, the items I am picking up in the buildings will always be here. Every time, or at least every time I've tested this. And we're gonna pick up everything that we can. Arrows, food, coins, check the window sills for whatever. Look at all the little nooks and crannies for stuff. Then, once you have the barn cleared out and the house cleared out, if you come around to this side of the building here, you'll see some stairs in the back. We're going to go down underneath and through the little vines. I'm going to go into first person and take out my torch. And you'll see that we have a bronze shovel. We have a 98% bronze pickaxe. There's some more beer and mead down here. We also have a large bundle with a copper bar, two copper bars, and a golden ring. Then we have contraband right behind it here with some more coins, copper ore, tin ore. And that looks to be it double check walls and stuff just to make sure there wasn't something stuck in somewhere else basket there it is large container seed coin hop seed there we go now we are going to head back into town and sell everything that we picked up again i'm not looting the bandits because they are not always going to be here i want to show you what's going to be consistent Alrighty, so now we're going to go to whoever our first vendor is, and we're going to start selling stuff. I would suggest keeping the bronze pickaxe and the bronze shovel and selling anything else you want to. Carrot seeds are going to be good to keep if you want to plant them in the ground. However, for this guide, I'm going to sell them for the coin. Now, we have a copper axe in that chest, so I can sell that. I'm going to sell the bars, the ore, the eggs, the feathers, the flour, the fur... Now we got the golden ring. Now the golden ring itself is normally valued at 750 coins. You can see it down here in the bottom, but it sells for 375. We're actually going to sell it. We're going to sell the hop seed, mead, oat beer, all of it. We're going to sell a potion of saturation, potion of weight. We're going to sell the rye beer, the salt. We're going to sell the five stone arrows, the tin ore. And we're going to be pretty good. So now we're sitting at 2393.3.
Now what you can do is since we are running late in the day, we can actually run outside here, out the east gate, and we're going to take the Wagoneer and we're going to take him to Astoria. Now, yes, this costs money. So, <laughs> but that's okay. You're, you're sitting on 2,300 coins and day one's not even odor. over. I need a ride. We're going to go to Astoria for 130 coins. Let's go then. Alrighty, here we are in Astoria. We are going to head out and we are going to find uh, the fishing vendor who should be out near that hut right there. Alrighty, here he is, uh, Mr. Sizier. How are you? Show me your wares. Alrighty, so just like in Pistovia, what we want to do is we want to buy all of the roach, pike, and perch. We're going to be a little bit encumbered, but that's okay. Now, we are going to waddle our butt, and we're going to go back out on this ridge out here because it'll be outside of town. We're going to build a campfire, so you probably need to gather a few sticks. So pick up sticks on your way out. And then if you open your map, go to Astoria, you see the red box around there? You cannot build anything in that red box, so you have to go right outside the red box. You can just put a marker there, that way you know where you're heading, and head that direction. Make sure that you have 16 sticks before you get out there, because that's what you need for a campfire. Once you're outside of town, open your crafting wheel, go to campfires, build you a small campfire, and you wanna cook up all of that fish meat, just like we did in uh, Pistovia. So you wanna cook up the roach, pike, and perch, and then go back into town and sell all the meat. So let me do that real quick. Alrighty, so I have gone back into town, I have made I crafted up all of the, the roach, the pike, the perch into roasted fish meat. I ended up selling all of the roasted fish meat back to the vendors here in town. I've now got 3,818 coins. This is after taking a ride over here with the Wagoneer, which was 130 coins. After buying the large pouch and the simple large backpack, which costs you close to 800 coins, maybe a little bit more. So... With all of that, we've already made over 4,000 coins in the first day. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little bonus material to make a little extra money. As you can see, it's getting dark. So you might want to try and wait to do this the second day. That way when it's light. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wagon here again. Hello. Yes, I need a ride. And we're going to take a ride back to Pistovia. It's, it's going to be close to where we're going. Alrighty, so once you're back in Pistovia, as you can see, it's going to be getting dark. And for you, it may even be even darker. But what you can do is come in here into, uh, like, the sick house, the, the infirmary, or whatever they want to call this. You can choose any bed you want to, and you can sleep the night. So what we're going to do is we're going to sleep the next day. As soon as it's available to us, it said one minute. There it is. So head out the north gate. And you're going to follow the road beyond the little structures that we first went to where, where I ran into the bandits. Now you want to follow the road until you start seeing these little swampy area here. We're actually going to be visiting a couple of buildings out here. Now there are some moose out here. If you wanted to hunt them, you can. There they are right there in front of me. You can barely see them in the tall weeds. But... They'll give you some nice meat and some leather. The leather you can turn into bags and sell. The meat you can roast and sell it as well. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We are going to go into first person. I am going to pull out my torch so it's a little easier to see things and go in this first dilapidated building. And you're going to be gathering items. So there's going to be a berry wine. There's going to be a bag right there. If you're, if you're not looking real close, you're going to miss these boots that are hidden under the vine. Those boots are really nice. There's going to be a coin purse right there next to the campfire. Right next to the campfire is going to be an iron axe. Again, it's hidden under the vine. And then you got this poor soul in the corner who looks like he uh, had a little run-in with somebody. We're going to pull those arrows out of his chest. And then he's also holding a copper knife that didn't seem to be working too well for him. Double check, make sure you didn't miss anything, and I'm pretty sure that we 
didn't. All right. So put our torch away. We're going to go back into third person. We're going to scare the moose off. Now, we're going to go into this building here. You can get to it by going up here and just dropping in. Or you can come around on this side here, crouch, and get in. We'll go back into first person here so we can see a little bit. There's going to be a chest in the corner. Yes, I know he's dying of thirst. We're going to have some straw. We're going to have four buckets and a bronze knife. Now, the bronze knife, it's a couple of little things real quick. The bronze knife, I recommend go ahead and equipping that so you don't sell it. I'll put mine in eight. If it's got the little red circle, it draws your eye to it. That way you don't accidentally sell it, hopefully. I would also suggest keeping the bronze pickaxe and the bronze shovel, getting rid of at least three of the buckets. Uh, get rid of all four if you left a bucket in the original storage at the beginning of the video. Uh, if you've used your copper arrows, make sure to re-equip those. The copper knife you can sell, the iron axe you can use or sell. It's only got 1.3%. You won't get 680 coin for it. Uh, the poison arrows, I would always suggest keeping your arrows until you have a decent supply that you feel that you can get rid of. There's also a barrel over in the opposite corner. Pick up all of the items out of that. There's some straw there, reeds. Nope, nothing else. That's it. Now, we're going to get out of here by crouching and going through the door. I'm going to put it in third person again. And from here, we are going to head off to a building straight over there, almost directly north of our location. These moose are going to be fine. They're not going to mess with you. You'll see some little busted carts. There really isn't I'm anything thirsty. in them. This guy's thirsty. Let me get him a drink so he'll hush. There we go. We'll drink some of that dirty swamp water. We're not going to mess with those buildings over there. The items over there are stealable. So that will, if you get caught stealing, it will lower your dynasty reputation. But we're going to head back over here. And we're going to go to this little building here. We'll pull out our torch and go into th uh, first person again. As you can see, there's a coin purse right there on the floor. There is a copper axe with 53% left on it. And I believe that is going to be it. All right, now we're going to head back into town. We're going to sell the items we just picked up. All right, so we're back in Postovia. We're going to talk to some of these vendors, and we're going to try and sell off a lot of these items. Now, the bags, for farming purposes, I would suggest keeping the bags. Uh, but if you're not farming right away, then obviously sell the bags. So we're going to sell these because I am not farming right away. Sell so the, uh, the wine. Now the boots, you can do one of two things with the boots. Now the boots give you 20% cold protection. I would suggest wearing the boots. That way you have some cold protection for when the winter comes. Because if you remember, we sold the potions that we had earlier, the temperature potions. I would recommend actually going into your clothes, highlighting the boots, and not selling them. <laughs> Don't sell the boots. Put the boots on. I accidentally sold them because I was in the vendor's inventory, but that's okay. Uh, but you would sell the simple shoes. Don't do what I did. Uh, however, sell the boots. You can try and tough it out. You can even turn the temperature off in the game in the custom settings. We're going to go back in. We're going to keep the bronze knife. We're going to keep the bronze uh, pickaxe, the bronze shovel. We're going to sell all of the buckets because I kept one in the original storage. We're going to sell the clay bowls. We're going to sell the clay mugs. We are also going to sell uh, the copper axe. We're going to sell the iron axe, the copper knife. We're going to sell the stick. We're going to sell the stone because we can't do anything with just a couple of onesie twosies. We're going to sell the straw. You can keep these items if you want to. You don't have to. Uh, you can also sell all of the 20 dried meat if you wanted to. Meat is very easy to come by in hunting, so you can hunt, get you some meat, roast it up while you're out in the wild. So you can actually sell that. And then just keep the oat rolls. The oat rolls give you a nice chunk of food, and they have less stamina consumption for uh, 180 seconds. So now, after all of that... We're up to 4,484 coins, 0. 0.6. Now, remember, we bought the uh, pouch. Excuse me. The, we bought the large pouch. We bought the simple large backpack. 
we've paid for a trip to and from Astoyo with the Wagoneer at 130 coins apiece. So there's a chunk of change that we've made. Uh, now, granted, we are in day two, which is fine. And that was a little bonus material for you. Now, there is a second bonus material. Man, I'm dirty from doing all this running around. There is a second bonus material. If you don't mind stealing items, you can potentially wipe out this whole village. But I'm going to show you a couple of little things right away that you can do to make a few extra coins. Now, a few, I mean kind of a chunk of change. So you're going to go in this building here, the one that's got the little moose head right on the top of it, right there. This is actually uh, the Castilian's house. You go in here, you look around, you make sure nobody's in here. Even if his wife is in here, if she is facing with her back to you, you can come in here to the chest, open the chest. You can see up in the right top left-hand corner, I did not get any negative effects for opening this chest because nobody saw me do it. Now, there are items in here that are worth taking and selling. As you can see, the amber figurine is 750 coins. Remember, you're going to get half of all of these prices. So we're going to take the amber figurine, the cherry wine. We're going to take the 500 coin. We're also going to take the dried figs, the jewelry box, the perfume, and the wool fabric. Now, if you watch up here in the top left corner, we're going to close this. You can see that there are no negative effects because nobody saw us open that. Then what you can do is you can take the Wagoneer again to a different village or you can run to a different village and sell these items. Now, because they're stolen, you cannot sell them in the village that you stole them from. So we're going to need a ride to someplace else. Now, we already have been to Astoya, and we sold them the fish. So we've already wiped out at least a vendor and a half in Astoya. So I want to make sure that we're going to be able to sell all of these stolen items. So I would recommend maybe taking it to Skalki. That's your next expensive location at 140 coins. So we're going to take a ride to Skalki. Let's go then. Now in Skalki, we're going to run down into town. We're going to find us some vendors, and we're going to sell all of the stolen items that we just picked up. Hail, friend. Hail, friend. Now, you can see that the amber figurine, the cherry wine, the figs, the jewelry box, the perfume, and the wool fabric are all red. That's because they're stolen items. However, because we're in a different village, we can sell them to the vendors. So we're actually going to sell the amber figurine for 375 we're going to sell the cherry wine for 125 the pigs for three cents the pigs the figs for 375 we're going to sell the jewelry box for 500 the perfume for 250 now oh the wool fabric now we have no more stolen items on us we have the large let me get into this screen we have the large backpack the simple large backpack excuse me large pouch simple large backpack we also have uh, the bronze knife, bronze pickaxe, bronze shovel. We also have 6,529 coins after buying the two pouches, the pouch, the backpack, after taking a ride to and from Astoria, and after taking a ride to Skalki. 6,500 coins. Day two. Medieval Dynasty, brand new game. But there we go. Whatever you need. A couple of different ways, a few different ways, to make some extra money without actually spending any money. We didn't have to go do any hunting. We literally just started out, picked up some items, sold a bunch of stuff, crafted fish. That was it. Fish. <laughs> in two different villages. Now, the fish, you can craft the fish in both Pistovia and Astoria every season. Those vendors will have that stock of fish each time. But there we go. Go out, make you some coin, enjoy your medieval dynasty, and have fun. If you folks enjoyed this guide, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I want to give a special thank you to my members. You should be able to see them on the screen now. And we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.